Yes, so welcome to my video. My name is Ken Obo, and in this video I will show you all about who I am, what I do, and how I can help you achieve your goals um, when it comes to how to make money online or how to get fit, lose weight, um, and all of that. So I'm going to start um, by explaining who I am. You see, uh, I am a digital marketer and I've been doing digital marketing for the last probably 15 years or so is a long time uh, so here's the thing in my in, in my entire time of doing digi digital marketing I have never done a video like this um, mostly I just create like a, a, a website or something and then I send people to that website for whatever it is that I'm, I'm selling or promoting but now I decided to do a video to um, to explain who I am and really how I came about uh, all my knowledge and everything that I'm doing and and I'm just trying to find I'm trying to to build one place where everybody can kind of get all the information about me that they want to know. You may have seen any of my web pages online um, and you're wondering who 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 this guy is. So that's why I'm doing this video to help you understand that I didn't just drop from the sky. Um, I want you to know who I am, how I got started, what I'm about. So, like I said, my name is Ken Obo. Now, you should be asking, you should be, you, know, you might be asking yourself, why should I listen to him and follow his advice? Um, because, like I said, I have a couple of websites out there, and if you are, if you've seen one of them, and I've um, and I've asked for, um, and I've and I've asked you to subscribe to one of my uh, lists, and you're wondering why you should, well, this this video is for you. Um, it gets to you, you. You'll get to know all about who I am and where I, my journey in this whole digital marketing thing. Um, I've got like an interview here. There's a link here. I'm going to I'm going to show it on this um, on, on this uh, video, and then I'll drop the link um, below so that you can you can access this and, and and listen to it for yourself. I'll explain what this interview is in a minute, but I just wanted to start by talking a little bit about the general subject who I am. So. Now, like I said, I started marketing, digital marketing, probably around 2005, 2006, thereabouts. And um, at that time, I, I got started when I was uh, living in Manchester with a close friend of mine called Chris. Um, and to cut a long story short, um, Chris was a guy who um, I'd met a few years before I got started in the in digital marketing. He knew he had a lot more knowledge. He knew all that stuff, and I knew nothing at the time about digital marketing. So I kind of uh, he he basically put me through on a lot of the concepts that I later learned. Um, so you will see that he features prominently in a lot of my my uh, talks and things like that. So let's get started. I want to show you something cool. Um, I know a lot of people talk about, like I said, I don't like, I never ever like to do videos like this because this video is really going to be about showing you um, some some kind of proof of what I've done. I, I, I hate, I've never been comfortable to show this 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 stuff like proof and, and all that because you see a lot of marketers show like screenshots or videos of their earnings and things. It kind of makes me uncomfortable. I never, I never wanted to do it, but because I remember something Muhammad Ali said that that's, that's kind of making me, uh, do this. Uh, he was being interviewed once and they asked him why he likes to, I think he bought like a Mercedes back then, you know, all those flashy cars and everything. He said it's not that he, he needs these things, but he needs people to understand that he's successful and most people don't listen to somebody who's not successful. I, I, and uh, Most of the time it comes down to money and things like that, which I've, I've kind of, I've, I've made all this money in the past, but I, I never really wanted to, to show show it in this in this kind of direct way. But now, well, guess what? Um, I'm doing it because maybe <laughs> yeah, I, I, pe people may be wondering whether I am for real and stuff. So I'm going to start with my ClickBank screenshots, right? So now this is um, this is um, I'm in my email right now. Uh, now I've made a lot of money online, um, and it, it's it's a huge sum. It's it, it's it, it, these are amounts that that people can't really relate to. So I. I try to kind of um, just do do a, a few uh, that are more relatable. So here I've got like a, a few screenshots. 
So in 2005 to 2006, I got started in this, this business. Like I said, my, my business partner, Chris, and we built what later became like a, a, a very big uh, digital marketing, uh, affiliate marketing company. So I'm going to show you some screenshots here. So this is ClickBank for those of you who know ClickBank. If you don't know, ClickBank is like a, it's a place where you, where you can sell digital products. So eBooks and videos and stuff like that. So um, this is just like a, a standard. I'm trying to explain what happened here. You see, I did, um, this was, if you look at the date, right? Uh, I think this was, let's, let's check the date now. I want to get to get the exact, uh, you see, this is 2008, right? October, 2008. Let me just put this in context. The year before this, we had our biggest product launch, 2007, and it was called The Day Job Killer, and it did like, um, because then you, when, when you sell on ClickBank, you, you, you promote uh, to a bunch of affiliates, people that go off and sell your product. So we created the product, and then we got a lot of affiliates to promote it. So usually you pay the affiliates commissions like 50% or 60 or 70, depending on what, what, what you want to sell the product at. But these screenshots you are seeing here is the amount of money that um, I made in a small, I say a small launch because, like I said, the year before this, we had our biggest product. So we're, we, we, at this point when I'm showing you all this, we were working on other products, but I decided to launch um, this product by myself. Now, normally I work with Chris and we, we, we launched all these different products together. But on this occasion, I decided to do my own product launch kind of um, on the side. So this is not my main the main uh, kind of account, my ClickBank account, but just to show you how a little on the side project. Uh, by the way, the day job killer grossed, uh, it, it sounds hard to believe now, even I, when I look back and say, did we make that money? It, it grossed, what I mean gross is all the money we, before paying, uh, paying out affiliates. Affiliate commissions were about 50%, but it grossed just under a million dollars in, in, in about seven days, in just a week of lunch. I know that sounds scary, but that's why I'm showing you more relatable screenshots like this. Like, so this was a little side project I did. So if you look at the dates, right? This is, uh, it launched on, I think, this day. If you can see where it starts from, October 8th, and it ran to about 21st. So it's about two weeks period, something like that. If you calculate all these amounts here, um, I don't know what all this this this, this is, but uh, I probably made close to about, I don't know, three, three to four thousand dollars in that time frame. I'm trying to find a screenshot that kind of summarizes it well. I think it's this one. Because this, this is how ClickBank used to pay. They, they pay uh, every pay period. So you can see this is like, um, I think this, each of this is like, was it a week or something? Yeah, a week. You can see they're a week apart, roughly, right? So this was the period of when I did the launch. So you can see the, all the bars here represent sales, daily sales. So if you add up all these numbers, it's about, what, $3,000 plus or something. And this is like a two-week period, a little side project. Little, again, I don't like to say all these things, but it just sounds like I, it sounds boastful, and it is. <laughs> Let me not lie. But the point is that I'm just trying to, to give you a flavor of the type of money I was making in the heyday of ClickBank. Oh, I'm not, by the way, I'm not making this kind of money now. So, <laughs> you know, um, it's been a few years, and we... Uh, almost go bankrupt. A long story. Uh, that, that's that's a cautionary tale for for another day. I'll tell you how we almost go bankrupt. But but this was in our heyday, right? So this is a little side project. Now, you may look and say, oh well, I can be showing you all this stuff, but some people don't believe. They think it's just a screenshot, right? So it could, it could be. I could be, maybe I could have photoshopped this. Okay, let me show you. I want to show you in real time because now this is my email. So I've gone back to the date. Um, so this is that date you are seeing, the 9th of, about the roundabout, right? About the 9th or thereabouts, something like that. Yeah, uh, 9th year, 2008, uh, uh, September, October. Yeah, that's the period, right? Now, look, these are sales for those who think it's photoshopped. This is my email. Everything you're seeing here is a sale. Now, look, note, note this date. This is when I launched it. Note the date, right? This is all sales in one day, right? Look, this is my email, so this is not a matter of Photoshop. Um, you know, if you don't, if you don't believe it. Um, again, I'm doing this because I hate doing stuff like this. I've never done a video like this before, but I'm doing it because it's like, uh, you know, just just for the you know people who are going to say, oh, it's just a Photoshop screenshot. But for anybody who knows, these are the ClickBank notifications, right? So I'll click just just click one of them I want to show you just what it looks like, right? So look. So this is the purchase information. So you can see here, uh, it was to me. Um, 
so you can see the this was the product Google Wealth Wizard um, product ID and all that now look at the amount seventy seven dollars right seventy seven so each of these notifications you are seeing here each one is seventy seven dollars sale look so this is look at the dates again still around the same time right tenth of of October whenever that was uh, yeah, 2008 this is a long time ago by the way as you know so um, like I said I'm not making this type of money right now uh, <laughs> but that's a different story but but this is real see these are all the screenshots I'm uh, sorry not screenshots these are Clickbank notifications and this is my email this is real I'm doing this in real time so you can see it's not there's nothing like you know I could have I could have I could have photoshopped I could have photoshopped all this, right? So you could have said, oh, yeah, well, you just grab somebody, or it could have somebody else's account or whatever it is. You know, like some people used to do that back in the day. They just get a screenshot like this and put on their sales pages to try and convince people that they made this money. But but this is real. So um, so this is, I'm just trying to show you, these are the notifications coming into the email. Again, look at the date. All these sales came, and that's why you can see the bars. Uh, representing the sales like this you know so imagine how many sales that is so yeah so these are typical Clickbank emails notifications notifications uh, still going you know so I mean you can see you can see this these are all notifications again if you click on any one these are the real you know things uh, you can kind of see I, I don't want to reveal the person's information who's bought but the customer information is down there um, but this is this is what you are looking at really price and all that so so you can see these are all sales uh, coming in coming in coming in coming in coming in. I mean this is not something I can Photoshop or doctor in any way it goes on and on but well, you get you, you get the point I mean there's lots of different emails so I just wanted to do that just to show you that this screenshot this my little side project here I did so um what three thousand plus dollars in two weeks or thereabouts uh three weeks i don't know you can do the maths or whatever but uh maybe a month uh you know like three four thousand dollars but that that was that was that was not even my main project this is just one of the things i did alongside other stuff we were working on at the time like i said this comes the year after we had just released that big product day job killer and we're working on other things we're doing like a quarter of a million dollars a launch at that time and that's, that's a lot of money i know but um again i again i hate talking about this stuff but i'm just trying to demonstrate that it's real here so okay but i want to show you something else that's really so you see one really has to thank god sometimes um, you take a step back and and i thank god that I found um, this this amazing business of digital marketing because once you know that making money is possible online and that um, you can do it, uh, you know, um, in a very efficient way um, from home, then your life changes forever. So, like um, in many ways, uh, th that's what I that's the reality I've known since since this time. So. Now, there's, I'm going to show you another screenshot. Uh, another, uh, I'll show you the screenshot first and then the, the transactions. So you're looking at, um, I had to go way back in my archives for this now. Uh, this is, uh, look at the dates here. This is like November 2006, right? So we're talking about 2006. So I'm going to show you this couple of screenshots here. Uh, let's just take a look. So now, um, this one, is the, remember remember the first one I showed you was like um, the first one I showed you was 2008 right so this is 2006 this was at the very beginning of of this journey uh, that in, into my digital marketing look at this so this um, November right look at the, the this this is only about a two week period correct right look at the screenshots uh, look at the the amounts this is like six thousand dollars this was this was I was focusing this was my very first real successful launch on on clickbank right so um we can have a look at some of these i'll just show you the other ones um so again uh this was during the same period i'm not even sure whether i was part of the same uh, accumulated account or not but uh, this is so long ago that i can't even remember some of the details but but look at the amounts um same period um now uh this 
I'm gonna this this particular one. This is um this is I, bl I blacked out this because like I think maybe people's emails and stuff. But this is from a company called No Checks. If you are old school, you uh, this is No Checks was like a UK um, British um, uh, payment platform before we discovered ClickBank. We're using to process uh, some of our payments, so you can see some of the figures here. Um, let me just let me just check. Uh, I'm sure I'll find some more No Checks ones. Uh, let's have a look. Some of these. Um, I mean. Okay, no, this was later on. Uh, this was like 2008. But you can see there, it's about 9,000 in a short period. These are dollars, right? Not Naira. So, uh, you know, this is, I don't know if you do the conversion. Do, do you, you can do the math for yourself and all that. But, but, but look at the periods, right? We're not talking long, long periods here. This is within a couple of months. There's nine thousand here, seven. You know, if I add all these up, you you can see what that adds up to. This is a lot of money. I can't even calculate. But the point is, um, I'm just going through these. Um, uh, I'm trying to show you one of the no checks ones. Uh, let's see. I think maybe. Yeah, I think this is where some of the no checks ones are. Uh, have a look at some of these so again let's see the date here it's just loading up uh, this is I think this is a Clickbank one this is just what like the uh, the this, the screen grab used to look like I'm, it's changed a lot since then I'm sure um, so here here we go this is one of the no checks ones now, so this, like I said, no checks was a British. Um, I don't know if they are still even operating, but it was like a um, process, a payment process. So look at the amounts. This, this is look look at the date here. It's still around that time. Like I said, this was before we I even discovered we discovered ClickBank. So, but look look at the dates, and this is in pounds. So again, is no can you can do the conversion today's rates or whatever. I don't know what it is, but um, these are so these are no checks ones, right? So you can see the amounts. It just accumulates because. As it goes up like that, right? You see the dates are going up. Uh, yeah, the dates are going up. So the, the, this is the, my note from my note checks account. So you just so each each of these sales, I was selling a product that was about forty seven pounds. Uh, most of our products were like forty seven pounds, seventy seven dollars. If it's uh, uh, ClickBank, so you can see the amounts just keep accumulating. Uh, now let's so. Just look how it adds up. See, so you can see um, this was even I can't even know, this was even before. But look at the activity, right? So again, this is pounds. So you can do the conversion if you if you want. But um, but this this these are just I'm, I'm showing you this to show that okay, it's not uh, it's been a long time since we discovered this digital marketing business, and we've been living it, but. Okay, so these screenshots, right? So you may say, okay, again, there are screenshots. Yeah, could it be photoshopped? Yeah, okay. Now, this is certainly not Photoshop, right? So this is like a typical ClickBank invoice, representing around that period. So you see, again, 10.06, thereabouts, right? Now, what I was doing here was, as I scroll through, I'll explain what some of these things are. I was building a... Um, a email list for those who who know about email marketing so I was building an email list so when you see this says buyers these were buyers so when when people bought the product I put them on the buyers list in Aweber which is one of the uh, autoresponders I was using back then so if you look so all the, when it says when you see invoice it, this is a sale so just like this one 77 you click here so the actual product was yeah this is it 77 you know so and all that same kind of uh, uh, and then so you go up so the, again you can see when you say buyers here these are all the buyers so this is a no checks uh, notification for example uh, so uh, invoice so buyers buyers each of these this was my list at, at the two buyers but these are the invoices so invoice then no checks payment you see all this 
it's all clustered around this period because this is I'm trying to show I'm essentially trying to show the activity that's represented by all of these screenshots here that, that I've showed you here um, and the Clickbank uh, screenshots you know so essentially so you see it, this this they were clustered around this area so buyers buyers list um, invoice Clickbank invoice you know and so on you know no checks and so you, you, you get the idea. Again, look at the period. You know, most of this is like maybe same day or the next day. Because if you notice, if you notice with the screenshots um, and the amounts, I remember there was a, like remember this was my very first product launch. So I remember when I was sh I think I was showing my mom. She came visiting at the time, and I was trying to I was showing. I was so excited at that time because I think I had just done like uh, yeah this nine thousand or something in like less than two weeks or something and then all these amounts i was showing her these screenshots and she, she was saying to me is this real money and i was laughing i was like of course it's real money you know um so so that's uh but you get the idea so so screenshots uh, screenshots i'm sorry not screenshots um notifications and notifications notifications but you get the idea so um just so that you know, it, it's not like uh, I'm putting up uh, 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 screenshots that are, you know, photoshopped or whatever. So, um, so that's ju that's just to to kind of give you another uh, example of of back then. Um, so yeah, so you know, we've been at this for since 2006, as you can see, as far back as that, and. Between 2006 and maybe 2010, 2011, uh, thereabouts, in that in that period, um, we made a, a lot of money. But um, like I said, unfortunately, we were then met with um, in business. You you go through these things. We were met with um, a very very tough period where um, it's a story for for another day. Um, but essentially, we almost lost everything. Um, and it was tough uh, to recover was was a, a nightmare and that was around the time maybe two, 2010 11 maybe 12 I started kind of uh, coming back to Nigeria and then I decided to kind of change direction um, so I started all the music um, uh, online and all of that so that's just uh, another uh, I just wanted to show you another quick example yeah so there yeah, so let me just uh, um, speak a bit about like background. So my background um, training was in law. Um, so I did my uh, studies at Manchester. And then uh, after that, I moved down to London for a year to do my uh, law school, which uh, I completed there. And then this is the like uh, call to bar uh, ceremony. Uh, you know how it is, uh, you know, our, our, our parents, you, you must do that school. So, so I did all that and then this was the uh, call to bar uh, in uh, the year 2000. Uh, yeah, and, and, um, and then this was the time I knew for sure that I really didn't like London at all. Uh, before that, I'd, I'd always, you know, I, would, I would, would always go down to London for like maybe clubbing or a weekend or something like that. Um, and at the time, my sister was was living there as well, so we would go and visit and all that. But, but then go back to Manchester. So um, I had to move to London for this this uh, law school because it's kind of like how in Nigeria, like if uh, the, I think I, I'm not sure how many law schools there are now, but then I know it used to be like Lagos and Abuja. Maybe there's more now. I don't know. But like if you school in a in a if you study in a in a town outside that then you'd have to go to those those places for law school so it's the same thing so manchester they didn't have like a, a law school uh, uh, law um, it's called um inns of court school of law so they didn't have one of those so i had to go move to london for that and i absolutely oh that was a i hated that one year every single weekend i remember i'll be back up to manchester i never stayed in london for a single weekend like then maybe we'll, like friends would go out and they'll be like oh how was your last weekend I'll be like, oh, i was in manchester like friday night i'm i'm on the train straight to london, uh, manchester and i'll come back like sometimes sunday night sometimes even monday morning if i didn't have any early like uh, classes or anything like that so yeah so that was the one year i spent in london and phew, man so I, I just it just made me love manchester even more so as soon as i i finished that that 
uh, law school year and I uh, got this this call to bar straight up to Manchester again because man so I, I learned a lot during that one year and um but uh, I was glad to uh, I was glad I was glad to return back to 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 uh, back to Manchester. I remember my friends used to always laugh. They're like, "You, you never stay in London." I'm like, "No, nah, no, nah. <laughs> London is not the place for me at all." So that was during this period. So, yeah, this is the ceremony. You know, you do all your pictures and all of that. And I had my family there as well. And then uh, you have like a celebratory uh, like uh, lunch or something. And then we went out after that. Uh, you know, uh, so so yeah. So this is a call to bar. This was in two thousand. Yeah. So basically, after this call to bar, um, uh, then I I went straight I into uh, my journey into business uh, to try to to you know you know how 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 our parents are you know is is when you finish school and uh well, well some 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 of us you finish school and then you decide if you want to to rebel against <laughs> against all that you must go to school then um you know the time to do it is is now so 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 after i finished then i decided like i wanted to do something more business related and i always kind of wanted to work for my myself really um i didn't want to go down the employment route and and, and all of that stuff so yeah so this was it. so after after the call to bar uh, ceremony, I moved back up to Manchester again, and then, and just began like uh, you know this journey, uh, which eventually ended up in digital marketing. So yeah, so that that was before I got into digital marketing. Oh, and by the way, um, not like. Be in between that time and now, I've done a lot of all other different things. Lately, I've been, um, I, I moved, I started moving back to Nigeria around 10 years ago. So, in a sense, after, like I said, after our business almost crashed um, and we almost went bankrupt, there's a long story, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that as you get to know me more. Uh, but that's the bottom line. So, I started com coming to Nigeria and I decided to kind of change direction. Um, so, I wasn't really doing digital marketing after the ClickBank. Uh, after our ClickBank episode. So I went into my first passion, which is promoting upcoming artists' um, music online. Um, so that's what I've been kind of working on for the last few years, in addition to helping small businesses um, promote, like, uh, you know, to get sales and support online and stuff like that. So that's more what I do these days. But I want to show you something cool, um, again, that goes back to that, that period. Uh, that period of um, the money making period. Now, I think what I'm about to show you again was around this 2008 period. I can't, can't be sure of the exact date, but it was probably around this time. Um, we were so successful on ClickBank, this platform I'm talking about, that we were, we, we were some of the, we were, we, me and Chris and um, our partner Satch formed the company, and our company was one of the top uh, sellers on ClickBank at that time. So much so that there was a guy called Kelly Felix who um, he was famously known as the Rich Jerk back then. He used to sell this product that he titled the Rich Jerk and a very, very famous guy in the, in the industry at the time. Um, <clears throat> and he, he held a party at the Playboy Mansion, uh, you know, the famous Playboy Mansion with Hugh Hefner, God rest his soul. Um, and so he invited all the top marketers, including ourselves. So, so I've, I've mentioned this in the past, you know, bragging rights, of course, I'm a you know, young guy, you have to kind of brag about these things. Um, well, not so young anymore compared to that time, but um, and so I'm going to show you um, like some uh, pictures from the the event. So have so here is a picture. This was like the red carpet behind here. If you you know uh, you, you will see it in in other other pictures, and you see the Rich Jerk logo. That's Kelly Felix is just there. So they did this red carpet thing, and then we, you know we all kind of pulled for a picture. So this is me here. Uh, you know, this was, this was back then in my hardcore bodybuilding days. That's why I've so I'm also into kind of fitness, nutrition, that type of thing. So this was me in bodybuilding days. That's myself there. This is Chris. He's really tall. I'm I'm six three. So Chris is like six nine. So you can kind of see the difference. He's really really tall. Um, and then this is our friend Anthony, our friend Chris. We used to call him Small Chris. Not that he's small, but compared to Big Chris, obviously. Uh, we have such our third partner. So myself. Chris and such, like the company, and then our friend T here. 
and then we have uh, Anthony over here, my, my, my very good friend, like a brother, really. Um, so, uh, so, so this is so this kind of our, our crew at the time. Uh, all these these are just the ladies who were who were on the Playboy Mansion at uh, party at that day on that on that day. Now again, um, I could have photoshopped this right. So, so you think, uh, yeah, they, well, first of all, this could be anywhere. How do we know this? Playboy Mansion, you know, it's easy to say, but uh, because even we, we didn't believe we got an invite, invite at the time, and it was an amazing experience. So I just want to kind of show you that this is not like a Photoshop picture. And for us to have got to that stage at that time, we had to have done some pretty solid marketing. Um, so uh, let me show you some cool stuff. Now, if you're a young guy, you really love this. Um, there's a little bit of bad language in it, so please forgive the bad language because uh, that's not me. That's not kind of the way I talk, but some of my you know friends. <laughs> um, and uh, so, and if you are a little bit more realistic, you might not enjoy this this bit. But, I, but I'm showing, but I'm showing all this because I just want to show that. Uh, again, I hate showing off all this stuff, but I've never done this before. But I am doing it now because. I just want people to know it's real. I, I have been successful in this business at a high level. So, so when I'm talking about stuff, I know what I'm talking about. That's why, that's why I said here, why should I listen to him and follow his advice? Um, there are a lot of people on the internet that are selling, you know, different pieces of advice, uh, coaching, and all of that stuff. I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a coach, but that's kind of what I'm doing in a sense. So, um, you want to know why you should listen to me now. This will, what I'm about to show you now will appeal more obviously to, to young guys, but whoever you are, at least is just, just bear with me. And if you hear the bad language, just, just please <laughs> try to block your ears a little bit, but I'm going to show you something cool. Uh, you really like this, especially if you're a young guy. So this is the Playboy Mansion, right? I've showed you the pictures. Again, you think, mm, it could be anywhere. I could have Photoshopped myself, whatever. Let's check it out so I can show you that it's real. So here's a bunch of videos, right? So I've got like all these different, there are lo loads of videos here, but some of them are kind of, uh, I don't want to go too, mm, some, some risque ones here, and uh, yeah, I don't want to like, <laughs> it's a bit um, dodgy, some of them, but, but I'm going to show you the ones that are kind of, at least can demonstrate a little bit of what I'm talking about. This, this was the day we, we, it, it progressed from when we arrived. This was like early in the day. Um, like as we're arriving at the place, there's a bus that takes you to the actual mansion. Uh, so we're just chilling out in all these places. I'm going to play a couple of clips. I'm not going to play all of them, but I'm going to just play some, some that, that just give you a flavor of what the day was about. So this is this was one with me, and then my, my friend Anthony is narrating the video in the background. Um, so the voice you hear, uh, other than mine, is, is the guy who's talking in the video is Anthony, and it's the same for the, some clips I'll play to you. So let's watch this first one. Uh, I just want to get you a flavor of what what I'm talking about here. Carol. Where are you hearing from, from Carol? Carol? Where am I from? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. I live in West Hollywood now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. a teenager. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, so that's kind of on the way there. So my my friend and me were just chatting, you know, with a few of the people we met along the way. Uh, this is like the arrival, kind of red carpet. That's the you will see the image you saw in this picture. This this is where we took this picture. So it's like people were stepping up one at a time, you know, to kind of take pictures, a little interview. So watch this next one. Uh, this is the outside of the play the we got some more Playboy bunnies coming along. Whole bunch of ladies there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's what we're talking about. Yeah. So that was kind of the, like, that's what happens at the entrance on, on, on this day of the party. Um, and then uh, you go back, you go into it. There's a few, there's a very famous place called the Grotto here. Um, I'm not going to play too much of this clip because it's a little bit, mm, I don't even know whether I should play, but let me just, just a little, I'm going to try and 
kind of mute the volume uh, a little bit. Uh, so that was like that's the famous place called the grotto and then we play this last one This was when we we're going into the into the place now again forgive the language if you hear any of my friends um, Using curse words <laughs> like 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 they, they like they do from time to time, but just check it out Yeah, so that's just like a like a little clip. Um, you can see some of the same people in the pictures uh, if you were attentive. Um, so again, so this is not Photoshop, and I just you know kind of put put a picture up and said you know we're here. So um, it's real. Um, so like I said, this was about uh, yeah about 2008 or there about something like that. So yeah, that that, that was my hardcore bodybuilding days as well. So you see a lot of the the videos like that so but that's just what i wanted to say to um demonstrate the fact that it's real yeah so yeah so it was a really fun time uh during those those days of uh, uh um digital marketing in the at the fullest so you know when you are when you are in that period where you're making thousands and thousands of, of dollars you 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 know obviously just you know um tend to to relax, enjoy yourself, and things like that. So we, we we had this period of like you know this this our kind of um, uh, we can't kill ourselves. Um, you know I can't kill myself. Allow me to flex kind of life. <laughs> so during that time, so we just thought, oh yeah, let's let's indulge all the things we like. So we're all into like hip hop and stuff. So uh, anyway, you, you may recognize this guy. Uh, he was at the, at the same Playboy uh, event. Uh, I think it's called Mad Mike from. Pimp my right. If you are if you are old school on MTV, you you recognize him. So he was there. If you, lots of celebrities were there. People like Bobby Brown and all that. So, um, but this was on the same night. But then we went through this period of like, oh, let's just see um, what else we can do. So we hosted a show in uh, Boston once. Um, if you are a hip hop fan, you will know um, uh, this guy Papoose. He's like one of the big um, hip hop underground uh, hip hop guy in New York. So. We put on a show with Papoose headlining. Uh, this is my guy, Gus. So myself and Gus ran this this uh, outfit called What You Saying at the time. It was like hip-hop and modeling. So we got Papoose to come uh, perform. It was in Boston, so we're just chilling. Um, that's Papoose again, just before the show, just taking pictures and stuff. Um, so yeah, so it was a fun time. And then, um, and then we went to New York. Um, while we're there, our guy Squala, a um, fantastic artist, arranged for us to come to tour this place. It's kind of like, the, 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 this is like one of the legendary studios of, of hip hop. Um, these guys, are, I'm not sure that this guy is part of the crew or not. Uh, it, it, my memory escapes me now, but um, this was their studio and, and they're in the um, hip hop hall of fame. You would have heard of like the Furious Five and those type of people. So um, they were all like there that day. So we just came with a couple of our friends. On this trip was myself, Gus. Uh, my friend Sharon, my friend um, Lisa, so all of us just kind of came just to chill out for the evening. Um, so we did things like, you know, high limo that day, you know, just again, just the flexing side of it. So, um, so this is Rahim, I think he is the main guy, um, legendary hip hop figure. These are the guys who were the foundation of hip hop with like Grandmaster Melly Melly, Furious Five, and stuff like that. If you're into old, if you're into old school hip hop, you will know. You probably will recognize him. I mean, I didn't really know. I mean, I was into hip hop even back then, but I wasn't as uh, fluent in the in the in the players at the time. So, but this was a legendary studio. So we just came, chilled out, and stuff. 
Um, then, yeah, so this Rahim again is my friend Lisa. She's fantastic. She's a re one of the biggest promoters of upcoming artists in Manchester. She used to hold a show for all the kids and stuff like that who are coming through singing, rapping. She's amazing. Um, so again, we're just there, just chilling with um, the guys. Um, and then this is our guy, Squala, the guy who, who hooks us up with everything. He, he, he kind of um, introduced us to Rahim and all the guys, and he arranged the whole thing for us to go there. The guy is amazing. He's, he's, he's a phenomenal rapper as well, and he, every time we're in New York, he's like the guy who hooks us up and everything. So you can see me on my laptop there. <laughs> Those were my internet, the digital marketing days. You see, I'm always working. So even though we're all here chilling, guess what I'm doing? I'm probably running my, my email list or you know, or doing sales on ClickBank or working on our next launch. And, you know, th that, that was the life back then. So it's like you're doing both at the same time. So I'm always on the road with this, you know, while we're hustling, you know. Um, so kind of that's the, the kind of flexing side of the lifestyle. So then we have, um, yeah, so this was on the way back. I think the limo, you know, limo ride, you know, we just again flexing thing. You know, we just kind of all just hired the desk course over there again. And then this is inside the limo, you have all the drinks, you know, complimentary stuff and all that. So, you know, fun times. So everybody just chilling, enjoying. And then this was uh, me, I think, again, it must have been like dead of winter or something. <laughs> so I had to, you know, the heaviest uh, uh, coat because of that. <laughs> the New York cold isn't a joke. So uh, then, yeah, so just again chilling in the, in the limo with all the, the drinks and stuff. And then this was me asleep. I think I think Lisa or somebody thought it was funny to take a picture of me. I think we we're going through a toll gate or something. So I, mean, I just fell asleep. It was such a long night. So it probably just captured me and thought it was, this would be funny to, to take. So um, then this was the modeling side. You know, I said we used to do modeling and uh, hip hop. So we had this modeling event where myself and Ghost would organize. Like we had a, 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 a crew of models who would um uh, we had this calendar at the time so we'll do like an annual calendar and then the best uh we'll select them and then we'll have like these events at the, pen at the we call them the penthouse parties the penthouse was actually my friend's penthouse one of the top internet marketers as well one of our guys and we used to have it at his house so we'd organize and then myself and Gus would arrange the parties so just loading this yeah, so this this was like the very first penthouse party. I think we were like in one of the rooms and you know in the in the in the in the apartment. So just getting ready, like we'd have all the like photo shoots and stuff like that. So it was fun, very. And then this was like you know we have like drinks before the the photo shoot and stuff. Um, so this was also th this penthouse was really nice. It overlooked the like central Manchester skyline, so you can really see like. The whole, like the views, were f stunning from there. So really nice. And then this was us in Limo, I think, on the way there. This is Anthony, my, my guy, the guy who you, who you have heard his voice in the uh, in the penthouse, uh, in the uh, Playboy parties uh, uh, footage. So this was us, like in the Limo on the way there for the party. And then again, Limo again. That's my guy, Gus Anthony. Uh, everybody just like chilling. And then this was like I think before or after the shoot I can't remember now but yes just chilling in the in the actual apartment you know everybody just uh, having fun and then this final one is like just us all posing with all our t-shirts what you saying t-shirts and everything so that's goes over there um, yeah so it was uh, a really fun time um, so that that just to show you kind of the flexing side of, of of it when when you're you're doing all these big launches and you know making yeah so. Um, Around that same time, when we're doing the What You Say modeling uh, project, myself and Gus, we had um, uh, we also had uh, loads of friends in in uh, uh, internet marketing who were also very successful. So at the time, we had this friend uh, called Andrew Fox. Uh, we called him Foxy as a nickname. <laughs> a great guy. The guy is amazing. He was like he's one of the top marketers, um, and we always used to collaborate on projects together. So. There will be times when we would hang out, and um, he would often invite us to his boat. Um, he loves boats, so um, this is actually in Mallorca, but he's, he's, he's Irish, so we used to go up to see him in Belfast. Well, it was the first time I was on, on a boat, 
and uh, I'm not too good with water, so <laughs> and I never knew what seasickness was until this trip. But this is Mallorca, so we, you, you know, I think he called us out here one summer when he sailed his boat from Belfast out here, and um, and this is just the uh, the docking area. So there's a marina around there, and then you have like you know shops and and all that here. So it was like a, it was like some, a summer break, so we all came out here to meet with him. So we just had had a little get together. Um, so on this trip, um, I decided that we should promote. Um, while we're here, we might as well use it to push our what you say modeling uh, project. So we came with uh, one uh, like literally our uh, fantastic uh, model called Abby. She's actually uh, I met her through um, my wonderful ex, who's like a, a family friend, very close family friend. So um, she came with us on this trip, and it was it was lots of fun. So. Um, we just came out here, spent some time with, with, with Foxy and, and his friends, um, you know, and just kind of just hung out. I think we we're trying to plan a product that we were launching in conjunction with him. So we just thought we'll hang out here, discuss everything. So this is like just the, the docking area. Um, and then you have like um, over here, I think this is like some other boats. I think this was Foxy's one. Uh, so you can see part of it and then this is just like that and then you can see the marina behind there and all the other boats uh, are just here you know so it was just like a, a very chilled out area we actually sailed from here to magaluf uh, so i don't know if anybody who knows like magaluf is like a famous uh spanish kind of um party place you know all these like young 18 to 30 year olds holidays in 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 in, uh, in uk they normally go to magaluf so we sailed from here to magaluf it was about four hours i remember and i oh my goodness the trip was crazy and uh i never knew what seasickness was until then like i said i could i was supposed to be taking pictures here i was the one taking most of the pictures but when the turbulence started on, on that four hour trip i could i kind of i just remember sitting down i just couldn't move but so this is like the um, uh, boats part and then here you have the marina so across you can see all like all the um so there's a lot of apartment, uh, apartment here for rentals and stuff. I think we stayed in one of these. I can't remember, but it was like a, you know, so you chill out, you just come here. You can, so I am um, Foxy would sail his boat and uh, we did a trip to Magaluf in one day uh, just for a night of partying and then came back here to Mallorca. So, so this is like just the coastline. And then, uh, so here is, here is Abby. So this is Abby. She's fantastic. So. Really, she um, came with us on the trip, so we're doing the what you're saying thing. So we did lots of like photos, and because then we had this calendar, so um, every year we'd have like a a uh, um, all the best uh, models in the calendar. So um, Abby came here. She's kind of like family, so it wasn't like um, it, it was just like there, there were other uh, models at the time, but but that's why we we just brought her with us because she's like the best, you know, just absolutely amazing um and then that's abby again so we're just taking so what i was doing was doing a photo shoot so just showing the brand what you're saying so the whole idea was just to to project because then I, we're doing all those um uh, uh modeling shoots and stuff like that so this brand was also like i explained was also tied to the music so we're doing both together uh and then we have them um, so this was like the um the entrance to the boat you go down here it was quite quite spacious you had like a a, a like reception area kind of where you could sit and chill and have drinks and then there were a couple of rooms so um, i think i think i can't remember whether i think we even slept in yeah 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 yeah. we did sorry we didn't stay in the marina we stayed in the rooms that like two or three little rooms here so we, we each had a room and then the other guys i think stayed in maybe a couple of places around the town but we had like uh yeah it's quite spacious actually in the, in the boat um, so you had, and then this is like the the captain's area. So that's that's I'll be there doing the pose for. Um, you know, so you had like the uh, this is where the captain would sit, and it was then I realized how expensive these boats were. I remember Foxy telling us that it cost like five thousand pounds just for the trip we did from here to uh, Magaluf and back. Crazy. We, had, we we stopped in one place to refuel the boat, and that's when I knew how expensive these things were. And then you have to, of course, he had to hire the captain. Even when he docks it in, in um, Belfast, he said he has to pay like there's a boat club. He has to pay like the, the fees for the for the period where it's docked. So her boats are expensive, but you know that's, Foxy loves all these boats. So well used to, and then that there's Abbey again. Just I think this is like the entrance. So yeah, these are like kind of glass doors. So you come down the, the deck, uh, and then you climb in here. And then, like that's the sitting area I was talking about. That's the um, 
uh, captain's area and then the rooms are kind of down it's like a, a level down there you go to the rooms so really nice uh, outfit and then this is like the outside of the boat uh, that's the marina there um, you know so really nice nice area that's foxy himself <laughs> looking looking int <laughs> interesting look i think we, you know so he's a very very fun guy he's like one of these just such a likable person you know really 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 likable and he's a top marketer as well you know really really uh one of the best ever so um such a good guy so just just chilling with him was, was so much fun so here you have like the whole um it's like a really it's like a resort place um, Mallorca. so everybody goes there to chill for summer and stuff so that is and then you have me here uh chilling this is like one of the restaurants you know all across that that marina area so you can just chill here you know we used to come here get food and stuff and then head back to the boat so yeah it was really fun and then there's chris <laughs> looking really cool with his glasses and you know chilling out and everything so this is inside the boat it's like the reception area and everything so uh this is the, the upper deck like i was saying i mean you, you can still go upper like up there you could you could like chill in the sun and but me i don't know how to swim so when they were like come up there i'm like no no i'm not i'm staying in this part that's so why i stuck to this place throughout the, the the whole trip i didn't want to be taking any chances going up there but yeah there's a deck above this as well and then this is chris again so he was trying on my my hat and my you can see where my, my white do rag is is underneath this you know, i used to love my do rags back then so this was one of my hats and uh, i think he's just trying <laughs> probably just trying it on and uh you know, and get, getting into the spirit of things, but yeah, so that's it. And then uh, that's Abby again, you know, chilling in the uh, restaurant area. And then, yeah, this is the club in Magaluf um, when we got there. So it's like, uh, we're just there, just a club for one night and then we headed back to, to Mallorca almost immediately. So, yeah, so that was, this was like the, the, the nightclub bit um and that was it so yeah so it was a fun trip in all um and again you know you go on all these boat trips and and things and that was the period where uh we're really deep into the whole clickbank internet marketing so with the success comes all of this so oh, let's go here let's go there so we just kind of just had a ball basically in general um yeah so fun times indeed in fact, talking about in fact talking about fun times, um, I remember this. Uh, I was just catching up with Abby very recently, and we we're just reminiscing about those days on your know, Fox's boat in Magaluf and all that. And um, it's just funny how life turns out. So she is. I've always, I've always felt she was so driven. And subsequent to that, um, last time we met, she had gone to university um and came out with a first class degree i mean who <laughs> i was saying to her that i never knew <laughs> we were, were both laughing about it first class amazing and um but now what she does is she travels around the world you know on she, she just she's just an adventurous person so she's been to all these different southeast is she's talking about her adventure southeast asian east asian countries uh, Thailand, Bangkok, uh, Thailand, um, uh, Indonesia, uh, all over the place, basically. And then she came to South Africa at the end of one year, and I said to her, "Why don't you just hop on to 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 Nigeria, to Lagos next time?" So, um, so she's on her travels. Obviously, the pandemic slowed uh, things down, but she's hoping to continue with that uh, once things start to open up. So, um, we're even talking about like maybe doing like some African countries and all that because she's just really into traveling wants to see as many countries as possible um, and um, she's got the option to just do like a, a you know a standard nine to five job with the degree but yeah she's not she's far more uh, driven and adventurous than that so yeah so yeah so that's um, uh, the fun times we had and uh, a very interesting life at that stage we're just reminiscing on, on, on those days so yeah great stuff now i mentioned something there, there are two things i do these days apart from um, um like uh, um, um, working with upcoming artists and small businesses online um i am also the co-host of a very very wonderful 
podcast called Securing the Bag. This is it here. Securing the Bag um, with Ken and Liz. So it's myself, Ken, and my partner, Liz. Liz is on the wonderful, she's actually um, an upcoming, uh, wonderful upcoming music artist, probably the best. I mean, I'm, I'm biased, but she's probably the best artist in, in left to me in Nigeria. I'm not even, <laughs> not even joking, but yeah, I mean, you, you know, you will get to hear of her in the future. Uh, we're working on her. Now, talking about how good Liz's music is, when I say she's really good, trust me, I, I'm a big fan of hers. And um, so I'm just going to like quickly show you just a little bit of what, so her music name is China Doll, but with three L's. So this is so if you if you Google, you see. So three L's, China Doll, and this is her latest song, Clock Love. Um, so you know we just we're, we're also working on her music project. So all this uh, you can see it on most of these music platforms. Uh, just want to get images. So this is kind of what like her banner looks like, and this is um, this is like the the cover of the song the clock love song here so yeah so basically she has lots she has loads of content out there and uh, absolutely uh, brilliant songs but i'm just going to play you a little bit of clock love let me see uh i think there's a uh, which one now okay let's try audio mac because uh, all these all these streaming platforms um it's hard to know which one we can have like a quick play because you have to either if you I don't know if you are logged into any of this Spotify but you can find it anywhere but this is like um, an audio mark one so I'll just play a little bit of this I'm gonna play like maybe f a, a few minutes or just a minute of it so you can get a flavor what the song is like now this is China Dog <laughs> She's absolutely brilliant. Um, but so she's a co host with me on securing the bag. Um, so again, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll drop the link so you get to sign up, follow us on securing the bag, and uh, we bring you like, you know, episodes of, of um, real good in depth interviews with marketers, top marketers in, in the game. Um, so yeah, so make sure you. So yeah, so obviously I've talked a lot about securing the bag, uh, our podcast. So I'm just going to play like a little clip, just so you get like a little flavor of what is what is about and uh, what to expect. So yeah, just play this little one. Just check it out. You're listening to Securing the Bag with Ken and Liz. Securing the Bag is Nigeria's most exciting podcast for anyone who wants to learn about making money with digital marketing. On this podcast, you will get to learn the best ways to make money online from the top experts in Nigerian digital marketing and also access the best deals on their programs and courses. You can check out all their episodes on securingthebag.ng. So, let's begin. So, yes, um, welcome to Securing the Bag. So, uh, so, it's an exciting one, just like the last episode. Um, so, I'm going to start off. First of all, with something I mentioned in the last one, um, I think Liz uh, kind of picked up on it. And um, so I want to break it down just so that uh, everyone listening will understand uh, where I was coming from. You know, so I said in the last one, we were discussing about these marketers, and I said um, 
these are your guys, you know, that I like that 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 frame that they have a song to. And you said, oh, Mr. Ken, how can you, how can you say they are your guys and you are not? It Let me true, no. bring... I just have to. What was the position okay. that was not left for us? Okay, let me break it down. Remember when we first uh, connected with your music, um, yeah. and you rang me and you said um, you wanted to... Yeah, so that's just a little flavor of it. So there's much more in um, in all the episodes. You really enjoy them. They're very conversational. We joke a lot. Um, some of it is funny, but um, a lot of it has to do with like real uh, meeting the top guys uh, online in Nigeria who are really you know making good money, and then they can show you exactly how how it's done and how you can start from scratch, um, even if you don't know anything about digital marketing, and then you can. Uh, become a uh, success yourself online um, and, and make some money for yourself. So, yeah, so check out Secure in the Bag. You, you, uh, lots of um, interesting content in there. You really enjoy it. So, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, so, okay, there's something um, I've, I've been saying throughout this video that I, I don't want you to get twisted at all. And that is, um, you know, I keep talking about the ClickBank days and, um, and um, how we're generating all this money. Um, now, when I say those days, um, and and uh, just to put it in context, we're still doing well now. We thank God. <laughs> One is still, you know, we're making decent money. Um, it's just by it's just that the standard of what we're making then was just insane by by Nigerian standards. Um, so, for example, at the, at our height, um, the time we're generating something like I mean, we're, per launch we're doing like maybe. Two fifty three hundred thousand dollars. I mean, Deja Killer was huge. That was just like a ridiculous one. But all the other launches became were in that range. So for in an average month, we'll be doing like maybe uh, between launches, which we'll do like two or three times a year, and then maybe with um, affiliate lists that were generating more money because we had other friends who had big digital magazine lists. That, you know, so we're generating something like you know, I don't know, three hundred thousand. Uh, you know, dollars uh, sometimes a month. So when you look at it, it was like sometimes over, you know, in, in, our, in, a, in the good run that we had, you know, maybe two, three million. Yeah, so obviously we had expenses, you know, you are, we're hiring staff. Um, so we have a lot of added costs. We have admin costs, staff costs, uh, accountant, um, business, uh, financial advisor. So a lot of different uh, expenses go into it as well. So when I say uh, those days, I mean, that was, I'm talking $3 million revenue a year days. It doesn't mean we're not doing well now. We thank God. You know, between, like, I still maintain a small stake in digital marketing business and then there are investments uh, here and there. Uh, so one is still living very well. We thank God for that. But, um, yeah, so, so just to kind of put it in perspective so you, you, you know what I'm talking about. So when I say those days, I'm talking $3 million type thing. Um, like so, as I said, it went through a lot of difficulties with ClickBank. But um, what I've learned is that you you have to take those lessons and then you keep applying them as you as you grow in your business. So so that's that's what that's about. Uh, so I still I still go to uh, I mean I still do some traveling, but I've traveled uh, around the West quite a bit. You know the U.S., Europe, and stuff like that. But I'm more interested in traveling around Africa now. That's that's my thing. So God willing, after the pandemic and all that. Um, if the next places I want to travel to is uh, the rest of the continent of Africa. I've only been to like obviously Nigeria and then Ghana recently, but look, there are 55 beautiful countries, and most of the things I'm doing now, most of the projects I'm doing now, center around uh, for the African market. So, so that's kind of my dedication for the next phase of life. So I'd like to travel to you know so many places: Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania in the east, you know, um, even uh, out west here. I've not been to most of those countries in the south and the north. So. There's so many different things to explore on the continent, so that's kind of my thing. But because um, Manchester is like second home, I, I have been, li been living there for like 20, 20, 25 years or something. So it's a big chunk of, of my, and I still have family and friends there. So I tend to visit, you know, maybe mostly at Christmas time. But Christmas is like, it's, it's always so cold. <laughs> even during the summer, it's not even warm enough for me. My friends keep laughing. They're like, I say, no, I'm, I'm a black man. My, my skin is made for the, for the sun. So the, the cold is, is uh, it's hard to stand it. So 
Um, but so I go there for like we, we still get together with us like you know we still have an office there like the guys uh, they, they still run the, the the office Chris and the rest. So we we meet up for Christmas most years, uh, you know just to get for like Christmas lunch and it's kind of like a traditional thing. So for example, I think uh, I, we did it last year and the year before. So I think in 2018 was a nice one because Chris Chris you know is married now and he had a um, his daughter is just. I think she was one at the time, um, so we just went out like to all catch up from the office and stuff like that. So we went for lunch and, and stuff. It was pretty good. Um, so I'll, I'll just show you like a, a short clip uh, of of the last. I think that was this was 2018 Christmas time or something, uh, just so that you you kind of see, get to meet the team and uh, and you know. So we just catch up from time to time. Uh, so just I'll just play this little clip. Yeah, so I was about to say picture. Yeah, so I saw the picture. Pictures are not. We're oh. gonna be in a video. Yeah. Christmas party, everyone. And uh, Dominique and Nina. <laughs> so we're doing the Christmas. Uh, it used to be called Brams and List 20 years ago. Showing my age now, <laughs> but it's um, now it's called Russell's. Beautiful day. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah, so, so the the uh, that's our crew, our team um, at the office, my partners, um, and then like the the whole crew, everyone. Uh, so we we tend to like get together for this Christmas uh, uh, dinner kind of uh, called. Um, uh, tradition so yeah so that's what we do from time to time so yeah um, and then other than that I love like now a lot of the, the, the things I do now are to do with a lot more technology um, so obviously we, we started off with the ebooks and then software but now I'm trying to get into like the technology space as well so we have like digital marketing and then technology which is why you um, I absolutely love social media week in in Lagos it's my, it's my best week ever um, so, but just to introduce you to what I've been doing since kind of moving back to Nigeria. So I spend most of my time here now. Um, and so for the last kind of 10 years that I've been coming and, 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 and kind of trying to build up something here, my, I'm going to introduce you to my uh, business partner. And this is him here, IK. Brilliant guy. He's just like fantastic. He just, he always reminds me of, uh, of, of Chris when we first met like because I like, guess you know very smart I mean scary smart like very ambitious and so so both himself and I have been building everything we've been doing over the last 10 years in terms of upcoming artists the music side and small businesses online and uh, that type of thing so this is IK here you can see he's <laughs> again he's significantly taller than, than I am I don't know I keep uh, somehow finding these uh, tall partners so so that's him over there. Um, yeah, so like a brilliant guy. So we've been building everything we've been doing together um, over the last 10 years. And um, so every single project that, that we've kind of been, been, been building out since then, uh, this is my, my guy. So um, we have um, a lot of things that we're working on at, this, at the same time, but it, it, those are kind of more complicated. So, but you'll get to, to, to know, know, know more of that in the future. So yeah. Um, and but what we absolutely love to do is social media week every year. So um, I, I attend it without without fail every single uh, year, except uh, I missed a couple. You know the things we do for love. <laughs> I won't go into all that, but yeah, you know. So um, so the last, the very last one, which is the one. Uh, thank God we we're able to complete it before the the, the, the pandemic really struck Nigeria. The, the, that's I'm talking about the 2020. Social Media Week now. That was an absolute blast. It was fantastic. One of the best ones. And um, and we had the whole experience because me and Ike, what we like to do is we go there right at the start. So they had like a, a um, uh, they have this really cool place, the outdoor space. It's right next to the, the Atlantic Ocean. So it's, uh, I don't know if anybody knows like uh, a landmark in in in, uh, in Lagos. Uh, so on the, on the island, it's, it's absolutely stunning. So so they have this outdoor space. So this time we went there. It was like the day before the launch. They had like this this opening evening. So we went there and just chilled out, 
Um, so uh, it was fantastic. I'm, I'll, I'll play you a little clip just to give you the vibe of what, of the, what the place was like that, that night. And then, um, and then I'm going to show you a couple of clips. So, and then the, oh, the ending, the, the last, uh, the closing ceremony, we had like a little party. So you see um, our girl there, Nanmi. She's brilliant. She's one of the social media organizers. And uh, we meet her there every single year. It's almost like a tradition now. So um, you'll get to see uh, those clips and then um, you'll get a, a good idea what, what, what it was about. Yeah, so those are the clips. Um, so it was a fun, very like packed with all types of activities, fun from start to finish. So you have like the opening cere ceremony, that little bit you had, uh, we had outside the day before, and then we had the closing party, which you would have seen, you know, enjoying ourselves and everything. And we've, we've met amazing friends in, in social media week. So of course our girl Nan Mi, um, she's amazing, who you, you know, who you saw in the, the clip. Um, she is absolutely amazing. She's always there. She's part of the organizing team every single year. So it's almost like a tradition now. So every year we meet up there and we, we hang out. And apart from all the wonderful events going on, you know, she's always there year after year. Very dedicated, amazing person. And then you have George. Uh, we met him at the last one. Amazing guy as well. Works for a foundation and they do lots of fantastic work with them on the privileged youth and it's just incredible. And um, then, of course, you have Ike enjoying himself over there. <laughs> so it was it was really fun. So everything, uh, this this is like our best time, Social Media Week. Um, and then we have our man, Jaffet. He's another amazing guy. Um, really, really smart. Um, he's into technology as well. So every year we meet up with him. Um, and he is an interesting, I think he studied in Russia. So he speaks Russian, very, very interesting skills and, and stuff. So yeah, but every year we... We meet up there. I think, except the last one, he wasn't there. This very, this uh, the one that just, the one just gone, 2021. So, yeah. So this is the the one just gone, 2020. Africa Next was the theme, which is amazing because I love everything to do with what's happening in the continent right now. With it, everything. So the digital marketing technology. I mean, this is just like amazing for us every single year. So this one was no exception. Probably the best one ever that we've attended. Lots of interesting people doing interesting things, um, absolutely amazing. So yeah, so, so that's some of what uh, I'm doing these days. And um, so yeah, it's all about digital marketing technology and the, and, and the African continent and all the wonderful things we are, we're working on to move things forward. So that is uh, my kind of passion and what I'm doing right now. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Nigerian marketers, the best ways to make money online. A lot of good information here. So um, I'll drop the link where you can subscribe to the podcast as well. Um, so that's one thing. Um, so, so that's hosted by myself and Liz. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to show you, again, all this is just so you know I didn't drop from the sky. This is, this is kind of where I've come from. Um, so I had a, an interview here a few years ago with a guy called Dosh Ramachandran. Now, why is this important? Um, so just going to go over to, so this is Dosh, right? This is this guy, Dosh Ramachandran, and this is his wife, Tara. So it's Dosh and Tara. Um, Dosh is a guy who, you remember I told you about ClickBank, the, the, the site we were very active on and used to sell a lot of products and we got very successful on it. So at the time when we met Dosh, he was the vice pre vice president of ClickBank. Um, you know, if you check, this is his latest uh, project. So he this is list listed by Inc. Magazine, 15 best podcast for entrepreneurs and all that. And these are some top marketers, Craig Clemens. We, this was another guy who, uh, back in the day, um, a lot of his, we used to kind of meet, meet up with, with people like him in seminars and stuff like Yannick Silva. These are top marketers. Um, and so so this is Dosh and Terra, and if you click the about, um, you'll see essentially uh, 
the story of how I think he set up this whole thing. Um, I mean, you can basically read all this if you want, but the point is, Dosh was at the time uh, the ClickBank vice president. That's how he got to know us and stuff. So, so this interview I did here, um, I'll drop the link to this. Um, is actually the page is actually this one. Um, so I'll drop the link so you can have a listen. Essentially, it's Dosh. Uh, I'm, I'm being interviewed by Dosh, and this was at the point where. I, we had um, established the digital marketing business and I was kind of trying to transition between that business and back to my music, which is what I, I love what I do now. Like I said, my, my first passion is uh, the music business. Yeah, and talking about Dosh, um, I, I actually also did an interview, uh, I featured in one interview on Forbes. Um, so this is, this is the actual, uh, um, interview is about it was about mentorship um, so I was talking about how we met Dosh um, uh, and this was around the time we were kind of switching more to music um, so um, I think it was true Dosh that we m made a lot of other contacts and then uh, you end up on on Forbes uh, uh, being featured on the on an interview which is pretty cool so so I'll, I'll put the link as well to this um, Forbes uh, interview here. I'll put it on. Uh, I'll put it under the video, so you can check it out if you want. But again, it just talks about like how we met Dosh and and stuff. So yeah, so really good guy. He, you know, is a fantastic mentor. He really taught us a lot during that that period um, about like wider business principles and things. Because we we're doing um, uh, marketing and selling. Uh, ebooks and software on clickbank but um, he always knew we wanted to do bigger things so so he had this mentorship session where we would get together and he would, he would talk about what we are doing and what our plans were and i used to really drive the music um but this was shortly before if you look at the date uh, i think this was like 2012 yeah like i said this was around the time i started coming back to nigeria and i started getting back more into the music all this interview i'll drop the link as well below the video so you can check it out uh, if you want to read it working on for the last few years have to do with with music and upcoming artists that's how i met um my my partner here liz who, the, who who's a co-host of our podcast so i met her through my uh, music uh, promoting uh, projects online so a lot of what i do what i'm doing now is to do with like this music and the music business helping upcoming artists and i'm working on some 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 projects that take a lot of my time which is why I haven't had um, as much time since after the days of our uh, digital marketing. So that, so I've given you a lot of information here. Uh, hopefully this gives you a good idea about who I am and what I'm about and how I proceeded on this journey from back then in 2008 to the current day. So now here's the bottom line. I hope by now you, you, you would know that I've demonstrated that I, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to making money. Um, now there are so many marketers online. Back when I started, social media wasn't even existing then. Uh, well, not in the way that it is. And I think Facebook was kind of in its early days at the time. Um, but now there are so many marketers online that I, I think um, I have, because coming back to Nigeria especially, I see th this. The, the Nigerian marketing, digital marketing scene is starting to really grow and explode right now. So there's a lot of different people out there. And um, I felt that I can add value in trying to guide people towards who the best people are online. Uh, some of them you will meet in, in Securing the Bag uh, podcasts. Um, so I talk about like some of these, these are, these are the top guys in, in the industry, by the way. You see, when you get to listen to our podcast, you, 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 meet, you meet lots of them. Um, or at least well virtually meet them in terms of introducing you to who they are so I think there's a lot I can do now and I'm also into weight loss and, and, and fitness and things like that um, so uh, so if you find that you are on any of my sites or you're on securing the bag please subscribe because um, I have a lot of 
content to share um, and I can definitely tell you uh, point you in the right direction for how to make money online um, I can separate the the serious marketers from the people who are selling stuff that they don't really know what I'm talking what they're talking about so um, so I think by now you should know why I put this question and you should you should be, have been able to answer it to some extent now from everything I've showed you today so if you are in any of my sites and um, you are wondering whether to subscribe for my newsletters or mailing lists uh, please do so because you will learn a lot you have a lot to gain um, I've been doing this thing for a long time I'm kind of an OG in this in this business thing so uh, online business that that's how I've been living since since that time so um, yeah so do subscribe to any of my pages out there and uh, follow us on securing the bag um, as well and to get to, to join the family of uh, and then you you learn a lot more about making money online so yeah um, or even if you want to learn how to lose weight or get fit and all of that stuff uh, I have a lot of uh, useful advice for that as well so yeah that's it for now uh, hopefully you have uh, enjoyed the video and you have more of an idea who I am my background and journey and everything till the present day okay have do have a good day um, and I will be connecting with you on any of our platforms feel free to shoot me a message um, and like I said I will drop the link to the interview here so you can listen and, and hear my interview with Dosh um, and then uh, hopefully get to connect with you very soon take care thanks for listening and have a great